Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius reading for the first half of October. I'm going to put all of the fire signs in one video. I will timestamp it for your convenience. And um, yeah, that's a jump into this reading. I'm going to look at past energy, present energy, immediate future, as well as advice for you using my twin flame deck. And of course, I will clarify. Okay, so this is for Aries right now. Okay, so at point 30 0 30 okay for aries first half of october for all my aries first half of october spirit for aries in the first half of october spirit hope you guys are all doing well okay remember to check your other placements and if this reading does not resonate please do not try to make it All right, Aries, ready? So, your overall energy is deception. Okay? It says mask, illusion, duplicity. Look beyond the superficial with release right behind that. Loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Okay? So, let's see. What happened in the recent past? Big goals. Career, business, success. Claim your place in the world. Can you see that? So maybe you were focusing on your career, okay? Current energy, crossroads. Divergent paths, choices, confusion. Follow your intuition, okay? You may be at a crossroads right now and need to make a decision on something. Immediate future, potential. Fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless, okay? And the advice, karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. All right. So I want to see here, Aries. Okay. You could be releasing some type of deception. Okay. Maybe you have trust issues. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, your overall energy is mass illusion, duplicity. Look beyond the superficial. Something not being exactly what it appears to be let's see why is deception here is the overall energy for aries in the first half of october spirit please let the message be clear and beneficial for all my areas okay deception why is deception the overall energy for aries in the first half of october So we have the emperor, okay? That's your energy, Aries, all right? Divine masculine and the ace of cups, okay? Yeah. So someone with the 10 of wands and the four of wands, okay? Yeah. So someone feels guilty about an ending, yeah? And they want some type of like restart, okay? Or a new beginning, all right? Why is deception here? They might have given you the impression that they didn't, but they do, okay? And with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands, okay? This person is kind of like coming in with the energy of, I want the long term, okay? I want the forever, okay? Yeah, and they're ready to move things forward. They've thought a lot about it, okay? This is someone that's ready to give love to you, okay? Yeah. We have big goals here in the recent past, okay? So you have an emperor that's ready to step up. Okay, if you thought like maybe like they're not ready, Spirit of Saint release that energy. Okay. Yeah. So we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. And Temperance. All right. So this is about taking action and going after the things that you want to accomplish here in the recent past. Maybe you were planning a lot. Maybe you were, you know, taking steps to, you know, create some type of movement in your life. Career-wise, money-wise, okay? Um, going after your dreams. And the actions that you took, okay, were to maybe restore some type of balance or harmony in your finances or in your stability with the big goals. Um, and justice is saying that that was the right thing to do, okay? 
But this Ace of Pentacles here, okay, that is so that you can have a restart, a fresh or solid new beginning, okay? So that was the right thing to do, all right? With the Knight of Wands and the Temperance Energy, the actions you took in the recent past were to bring things into balance, okay? Why is big goals here in the recent past for Aries? Okay. With the Temperance Energy, I'm also getting the energy of patience, okay? You were probably very patient with your progress as well okay big goals for aries big goals for aries first half of october spirit Okay, nine of cups here. Yeah. Nine of cups with the ace of swords, all right? So, yeah, it's like in the recent past, you were taking the necessary steps, okay, to bring things into balance so that you can ultimately have the things that you want, okay? Um, that was the good thing, okay, with the ace of swords. This is you achieving the things that you wanted, okay? Um, the things that fulfill you, queen of cups energy, caring for yourself, the things that, the things that create balance, in your life okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah all right so in the current energy you have crossroads okay divergent paths choices confusion spirit wants you to follow your intuition why is crossroads here for aries in the first half of october spirit four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles Okay, so I do feel like you are definitely um, focused on your finances, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, you may be holding back some or even like tightly holding on to your finances, um, focusing on your foundation here. Um, someone may be trying to like spend time with you, come in and, you know, uh, show love to you, but you just don't want to deal with the conflict. Okay, maybe they come with a lot of drama. So you've been kind of like focusing, staying to yourself and focusing on your stability and your finances. Why is Crossroads here in the current energy? The Page of Cups and the Two of Wands. Okay, this could be someone that is offering love now, maybe even an apology. Okay, and with the Two of Wands here in the Hierophant, um, this is someone that may be asking for a higher level of commitment. Maybe, um, you know, seeking long term, like, you know, the forever, the Ten of Pentacles, right? I'm choosing the Ten of Pentacles and you're like, mm, you're holding back some. Yeah. You're kind of up in your head. You're kind of waiting for things to change and you're not sure that things will change. Okay. You have the Knight of Swords and Justice. Okay. The Knight of Swords is about removing something. Okay. Taking decisive action that is for your highest good, right? And justice, okay? You making this decision, okay, is justice, okay? You taking the time to hold back from putting yourself out there too much and focusing more on yourself is justice. Spirit is like, that's the right thing to do. Yeah, okay? Because the King of Swords wants a passionate new beginning. This can be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, Okay, they've made up their mind, okay? But with the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, it's because they're lonely or in need of some type of support, okay? Yeah. So in the immediate future, you see potential, okay? Fulfillment, risk, achievement, your potential is limitless. Why is potential here in the immediate future for Aries? First half of October. Page of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. Okay. So this is about communication. Okay. You might receive communication from someone. Okay. Yeah. That is 
still offering a um, new beginning, okay? Um, this might be a lot of flirty text messages. This might be um, offers to like go out on a date, choose me, I wanna hang out with you, I'm gonna do something kind with you um, or do something nice for you. And you're seeing the potential, okay? Why is potential here for Aries in the immediate future, okay? Now with the Page of Wands, this might be someone else. Okay, because you have the emperor over here as deception, but that's your energy, and then the page of wands over here. Okay, whoever you had to remove in the current energy that was justice. Okay, potential for Aries. Mm -hmm. The tower, Scorpio energy. Okay, and the moon, all right? So what you're getting is something that is very unexpected, okay? Um, you weren't expecting this, okay? But you're getting some communication out of nowhere, maybe from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? That they are moving away from or moving on from an Aries, I mean, I'm sorry, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? Yeah, and with this Empress energy and judgment, this is someone that wants a second chance with you, okay? Yeah. So we have karmic partner here as your advice. Why is karmic partner here as the advice for Aries? The Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. Okay. You have the world and the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit is saying someone is coming in, right? With this Knight of Cups energy, this loving gesture, okay? But it's coming with drama, okay? It's coming with conflict. It's coming with issues. And it's going to leave you, leave you with heartache. Mm -hmm. With the Four of Cups energy, this is about dissatisfaction, okay? Rejection, okay? The Star energy and the King of Pentacles is saying that someone wants to try to heal something, maybe even like heal a, a rejection or recover something, um, they're hoping that you don't reject them. Um, but this is someone that spirit is kind of saying is karmic. Why is karmic partner here for Aries? They're hoping that you don't push them away. Two of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. They're choosing you. They're choosing to um, go in this, in this route. Go this direction. Go this route. Yeah, but they are really stuck in their head or really focused on like maybe the confusion that they created, okay? Yeah, and with this um, high priestess energy and the page of swords and the ten of cups, yeah. Yeah, they know that this is their ten of cups. That this is their happily ever after, okay? And with the two of wands here, this is someone that is making a choice. They're hoping that you don't reject them. Yeah, they're choosing this, okay? So with the Knight of Cups, someone is coming in with a love offer. Could be someone that you had a lot of, you know, disagreements with, um, a lot of heartbreak with, okay? Yeah, but they're sitting in the energy of dissatisfaction. They're hoping that you don't push them away. Because they are definitely choosing this. Intuitively, they know that you are the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's get you some messages. Okay. So I have the Hidden Truth here. For Aries Spirit. For Aries. What messages do you have for Aries Spirit? What messages do you have for Aries Spirit? Okay. You get, I look for you everywhere. Okay. And I want to feel that way again. Okay. So whatever way they felt with you, you know, um, in the recent past or in the past, they want to feel that way again. Okay, Aries. Any more messages for Aries? First half of October. I 
I left when I saw you with someone. Okay? So if they saw you with someone and maybe even came to some type of conclusion, they left or they detached during that time. And it says, I am becoming a better person. Okay? Let's see. And Secret Moon. Secret Moon deck is going to give us some messages. All right. What do we have for Aries? First half of October Spirit. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck says, I'm ready to open up. Okay, this is someone that's ready to tell you what's going on with them, how they're feeling, how they feel about you, how they feel about the connection. You matter to me. Okay, bottom of the deck says, I'm taking a risk. Okay, so this person is definitely going to come through, okay, um, and kind of give you the romantic love and gesture that you were looking for, maybe, okay? Um, and they are really hoping that you don't push them away, okay? This is something they are choosing. They are planning to come forward. And they know intuitively that it's you. So, that's what I have for you, Aries. <laughs> Moving on to Leo. Now, let me pick up my stuff. Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisa Gertero. So we're here to do Leo's reading. We're at 1737. It's for Leo. First half of October. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I'm going to look at recent past, current energy, immediate future, and get you some advice. Okay? For all my Leo's, first half of October. For Leo. One more. See we get here. All right, so Leo, your overall energy is separation. Can you see that? With free will right behind that, choices, decisions, contact, inaction, actually cannot be forced. Okay, so there is some type of separation that may be occurring here in the first half of October, and it's because people have free will, right? Okay. What happened in the recent past? Fifth dimension. Intuitive communication. You are connected at the soul level. Okay? This is like knowing what someone else is thinking, feeling. Okay? Yeah. Current energy. Mirroring. Reflection. Twin. Wholeness. Synchronicity of balance. Okay? With mirroring being here, I feel like you and whoever you're connecting to are feeling the same way. Okay? Immediate future, divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that the divine knows when, okay? So Spirit is saying just trust in divine timing for whatever changes are going to occur. And the advice, blessings, protection, attention, love. Your guys are always with you, okay? So just know that through all changes, okay, you are protected. You are blessed, Okay? So let's clarify these messages for Leo in the first half of October spirit. Please clarify these messages for all of my Leos in the first half of October. One more. 
right? All right. Why do we have separation here? Is the overall energy for the um, separation? Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, Knight of Pentacles on the bottom, okay? So this can have something to do with work, all right? With the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Someone could be separating because of work, okay? You could be separating from someone because of work. Um, and with the Strength card here, Leo Energy, that's your energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, you've been really, maybe really trying at something, really working hard at something, um, um, and with the Knight of Pentacles, it, your, the progress or the changes just haven't been showing. Okay. Maybe you've been re really working at, could have been something at work, but really been trying to like put in the work or the effort, maybe in on a connection and it's just not showing any type of progress, right? Why a separation here for Leo? The Knight of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Wands is about taking action, doing something, um, the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Maybe you've been trying to like put in the effort, you know, really work at something and someone else is just not doing much of anything. Okay. Um, you're, it's almost like you're leading the situation and you, um, might be feeling like, you know, you're not getting any type of results. Okay. Yeah, the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might even feel like someone else is kind of focusing on themselves, okay? Either you feel that way or you're ready to feel that way about yourself where you're like, okay, well, maybe I should just focus on me, okay? I've been trying to put in the effort and kind of like play, um, you know, uh, play fair or whatever case may be, really working at something and you're getting zero results. And so you're like, maybe I should just focus on me, right? All right. So why do we have fifth dimension here in a recent past? Fifth dimension for Leo. First half of October. The Queen of Wands. And the Fool, Okay. So the Queen of Wands is your energy, Leo, okay? And with the Fool, this is about taking taking a leap of faith, okay? Maybe towards a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And this could have happened unexpectedly, okay? You um, could have felt like someone else was, okay? That they were um, maybe acting out with someone else, okay? Maybe you just felt it intuitively that someone's someone had their energy somewhere else. Okay, why is fifth dimension here for Leo? Please make it clear, Spirit. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like you were putting any effort on something, okay? And not getting the results that you wanted, okay? And you might have even been like leading things, like trying to like initiate everything. And every, someone else was focusing on themselves, okay? Or maybe you just decided I'm going to focus on myself because whoever you're connected to, this queen of wands um, in a recent past, chose to have a new beginning, Okay. And with this five of cups, it's like, I regret even putting myself out there. I regret showing you any type of love because you're being dishonest. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to work on our 10 of cups and look what you're doing. Three of swords, right? Okay. Why is the fifth dimension card here in the recent past? And it's like, you knew it. Okay. Intuitive communication is like, you kind of know what the other person's doing or thinking or, you know, why is fifth dimension here? Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Justice. Four of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, so in the recent past, someone might have made a choice, okay, to go in a different direction, okay? Maybe even mingle, date, you know, hang out with other people, explore new options, okay? 
um, maybe even get into a different relationship or a new partnership and they felt like that was the right thing to do because of someone else's actions okay yeah with the four of wands and the ace of wands it's like i'm gonna have something new okay yeah we was in a relationship but then i'm going after something different okay yeah all right well the current energy is given mirroring okay so it says reflection twin wholeness synchronicity bounds why is mirroring here for Leo in the current energy? Okay. You have the Six of Swords. Okay, that's moving on to something better. Something calm, like moving on to common water. So that's moving on to better times. Okay. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this could be a better long-term commitment. Okay, moving towards a long-term commitment, okay? Coming out of the rough energy and moving into um, something that's more stable, okay? With the emperor, okay, maybe with an Aries, all right? And this queen of pentacles and this ace of swords, um, this is like someone that is very stable, very responsible. Um, with the ace of swords, it's like, yeah. It's like someone is moving towards a stable partnership or moving towards a like long-term commitment and they're taking it like taking the reins on it. Okay. They're being very assertive. It's like they know who they want. Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, it's like I know who I want. Okay. And I'm going to take the necessary steps. This divine masculine is taking the necessary steps to do so. Okay. All right. In the immediate future. We get divine timing, okay? Why is divine timing here in the immediate future? It says patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that the divine knows when, okay? So this divine masculine may be ready to make a move right now, but the divine timing card in the immediate future is saying patience. Trust that the divine knows when to make that change, okay? Why is divine timing here in the immediate future for Leah? First half October. Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. So someone else, this Queen of Cups energy, um, this can be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, but this is someone that is very intuitive, very loving, very caring. Um, with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So... The masculine energy may be ready to move towards a, a, a feminine energy, maybe a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This can be someone that they want to collaborate with or um, build something with. But with the Five of Cups here and Temperance, it's almost like this person, this Queen of Cups energy, maybe has gone through some type of sorrow, disappointment, maybe even with the masculine, and they need to kind of get over it. Okay, they haven't they haven't balanced on that yet. It's like this person, this Queen of Cups, that has trust issues right now. So this is why pay, uh, pay, divine timing is here in the immediate future for Leo because Spirit wants you to kind of be patient. Okay, um, divine masculine may be ready to rush into something new, and the Spirit is like, just wait a minute. Okay, why is divine timing? Yeah. Look, the other two cards fell face down. The Ten of Swords, all right? Yeah, this person has um, experienced some type of painful ending, all right? And with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups, yeah, with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups, um, I feel like, Leo, if you were to move towards this Queen of Cups, she might just push you away. And this is just giving the feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a, a woman, okay? This Queen of Cups energy might just push you away, okay? Yeah, because with the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands, there's anxiety about what the future can hold. This this Queen of Cups is paranoid, okay? Yeah, 
Um, and with the deck energy and the four of wands, yeah, it could be some type of like um, ending to the connection. Okay. So um, spirit is like, wait, hold on. Okay. I know you're ready to move through long term. Okay. I know you're ready to know who you want. You know who you want to go after. But spirit is like, pause. Okay. Your advice is blessings, protection, attention, love. Your guys are always with you. Why is blessings here for Leo as the advice in the first half of October? The Seven of Cups, okay, and the Six of Pentacles. What you dream, dreamt for or what you dreamt of, okay, is having like a balanced connection, equal give and take, someone that's fair and honest and all that good stuff. Okay, you're going to get it. You might have received some type of disappointment, heartache, or experience in that before unexpectedly, okay? But give yourself time to heal before you take another leap of faith, okay? Yeah, whatever it is that you want it, you can have when it comes to relationship. But Spirit wants you to kind of take a break, okay? Give yourself time to heal. Give um, others around you time to heal, okay? Because maybe they've gone through some stuff, some stuff too, because you're, you're blessed. You're going to have whatever it is that you want. You don't have to rush into it. Okay. Spirit was like, it's kind of saying like, you're, you know, you don't rush. Yeah. With the seven of pentacles, wait. Okay. Wait. Think about it. Okay. Process it. Okay. Um, because current around trust issues can make things more difficult. Okay, so spirit wants you to really process, think about it, and figure out exactly how you want to do things, when you want to do things, what works best, all of those, all that good stuff. Okay, whatever you dreamt about, you can have six of wands. Okay, yeah, page of wands on the bottom. You're going to get the communication that you want. Okay, you're going to get the, um, the, attention okay the um accolades is that the right word yeah you don't think you're gonna get it you think you're gonna be single forever yeah mm -hmm. like you're not gonna get what it is that you want you kind of sit in the energy of you know well if i don't have this you know then you know like kind of sad but spirit is like no you're gonna get exactly what you want okay just be patient okay be patient with the divine timing card. Your blessings will come through. All right. Everything that you dreamt about will come through. The Knight of Cups energy. This is about putting your heart on, putting your, putting your heart out, heart out there, putting your heart on the line. Giving of love. Okay. Yeah. And with the nine of wands and the full energy, spirit is like, listen, you've been through a lot. Okay. We don't want you to jump out there, okay, and, and experience some type of heartache or disappointment, okay? Because you're still carrying around some trust issues. Everything that you want is right there for you. Everything that you've dreamt for in your life, okay, is right there for you. Just be patient, plan things out. Your success is coming, all right? So let's get you some messages. For Leo... First half of October for Leah. What message do we have for Leo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any messages for Leo spirit? You make me happy. Okay. And the bottom of the deck says, I have a choice to make. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So someone is definitely in the energy of they have to choose a path. Okay, which route do I go? Which way do I go? For Leo, first half of October spirit. feel trapped okay yeah and i desire you you see that yeah someone is like i'm ready to go in this direction spirit is like pause just calm down okay 
we we understand what you you know what you want and what you dreamt of and everything but you won't end up messing it up by rushing okay like you know healing gotta occur okay this person that you want gotta heal and you need to heal too on the low right so this is my straight facts deck okay and i'm getting some messages from here yeah mm -hmm. yeah I'm just not interested. What you're offering just doesn't work for me. Okay? Yeah. And someone could be saying that, right? And spirit doesn't want you to be hurt. Okay? Bottom of the deck says, I got mine. Taking care of yourself first is not a bad thing. Okay? Yeah. And you could be saying that as well. Okay? You could be saying that to someone that you saw in the recent past wasn't doing the right thing. Okay? You can be saying, listen, what you're offering just doesn't work for me. And I'm taking care of myself right now. Okay? Yeah. Because we definitely saw in the overall energy that someone is definitely focusing on themselves at this point. Okay? I feel stuck. My hands are tied in this situation. Another card of feeling stuck. Okay? Spirit is like, just be patient. Broader vision for the future. Excited to see what the future holds. Bottom of the deck says, you got money. I got money too. I can meet you halfway. Let me. Okay? Yeah. So this is definitely someone is in the energy of going in a new direction, okay? But they feel stuck for some reason. And that is because spirit is like, wait, wait for divine timing, all right? <laughs> so on to Saggies, on to my Saggies. Got to go through chords. First half of October for all my Sagittarians. First half of October spirit. Mm. Mm. The fetch. All right, shit. <laughs> Hey, Shiv. Welcome back to Music Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Saggy's reading for the first half of October. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Saggy. Now, if this reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to make it, okay? All right. Saggy, I'm going to look at your recent past, current energy, immediate future, as well as get you some advice, okay? So let's see. I'm using my Twin Flame deck. All right, to lay out the spread, and then I'm going to clarify. Full Sag. Ready? Okay. All right. Overall energy, soulmate. Compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. Mm -hmm. With pause right behind that. Inaction, calmness, step back, wait for the sign, okay? So you can see somebody as your soulmate. The spirit is like, yeah, we're paused. Don't do nothing just yet. Just don't do nothing just yet, okay? <laughs> so what happened in the recent past? Split energy, options, unfocused, multitasking. Decide what you really want, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you were, you know, all over the place a little bit. Okay, all right. In the current energy, <laughs> journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. Okay, so you're just in the energy of processing, contemplating, and everything, getting your thoughts together. Immediate future, offer, gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. Okay, so now you know what you want to do. Okay, <laughs> you're like, I don't want to make this all. And your advice, <laughs> ego, 
pride, jealousy, self-preservation walls. Let your guard down. Okay. Are you proceeding with caution? Let's clarify and see. <laughs> see for my Sagis. First half of October spirit. Please clarify for my Sagis. Do you need to let your ego go? <laughs> okay. See. Why is so made here as the overall energy for my Sagis spirit? Compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. Please make it clear, spirit. Why is soulmate here for Sagis as the overall energy? First half of October. Okay. We like it. Oh, yeah. We like it. We like it. <laughs> you saw it. You saw it. Eight of Cups. The High Priestess. And the lovers with the world on the bottom, okay? So this is about walking away from something, okay? Leaving the past behind, starting on a new journey, going towards what you what it is you really want. Because secretly, intuitively, you know who it is that you want with the lovers energy. Okay? All right. But with the world on the bottom and the nine of wands and the hermit energy, maybe you are just ending a very troubling cycle okay a very difficult cycle you've gone through a lot okay so with this hermit energy all right this is about processing and thinking so that you can make the best move confidently okay i think that's why that pause card is there okay it's like you're walking away from something because intuitively you know who you want with the lover's energy okay in a recent past, you have split energy. Multitasking all over the place. Why is split energy here in the recent past for Saji? Split energy. The devil, okay, and the king of swords, all right? You didn't want to make any, like, you don't want to make any, like, stupid choices, like unhealthy choices, right? Yeah, with the Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. You don't want to, like, jump into something and then be, like, totally disappointed, okay? So you wanted to be cautious. Um, you knew you had some decisions to make, but you had a lot on your plate. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords in the Chariot, okay? Maybe you had just went through something very unhealthy, very toxic, very draining, and you were maybe just moving past that, okay? And so with the Five of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, you were already sitting in, like, defeat or in, in like, sorrow from, like, you know, something that you might have had to break away from, something that was very unhealthy. And with the Three of Pentacles and the Moon, you weren't quite ready to, like, feel something again right no i don't want to collaborate again i just got out of something that was so effed up okay i just moved away from that i'm trying to get my foot in again and i just want to focus on me right <laughs> maybe you had a lot going on okay let's see so in the current energy you're processing what is it that i do want right who do i want what type of relationship do i want why is journal here for saggy why is journal here for my Sagittarius spirit? The Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? You are processing because you don't want to make any quick decisions, okay? Yeah, you are definitely looking at having something new, having a new beginning, but you're being very cautious, okay? Protecting yourself. Why is journal here? For Sag, first half of October in the current energy. Okay, not making any quick decisions, processing, thinking. Okay. Okay, Three of Cups in the moon. Yeah, because coming together with a new partner or coming together with people and dating and all that stuff, it's just something that you know you're not quite sure about. Okay, so you're kind of sitting on the fence. You're thinking about it. I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want to date again. I don't know what I want. I don't know where. Like, that's where you at. You're like, I don't want to make no stupid decisions. I'm not jumping out there again. Okay, because yeah, maybe you experienced something with this five of wands that was just drama freaking filled. Okay, 
you experience something that was drama full, okay? And so with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you're in your head like, I don't want difficulty again. I just don't want it, okay? <laughs> but in the immediate future, we have offer. Okay? Offer. Why is offer here in the immediate future for Sag? First half of October. Yes. Yes. With the Knight of Swords energy and the Death energy in the world. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is the energy of, okay. Enough of like, you know, being in, you know, hermit mode all to myself. I know what I want. Okay. <laughs> I guess you contemplated enough. Why is offer here for Sag? Okay. It's like you're ready. You're ready to take action. You're ready to make your decision. You're ready to speak your truth. Okay, yeah. You ready to let people know what you're doing. Okay, yeah. But the Empress energy. Oh, yeah. And the Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, this is about growth and expansion. Okay, it's about um, uh, fertility. Okay, you might see someone as an Empress. Okay, or maybe you know what direction to take in order to grow something or um, what, what direction is going to be fertile or fruitful for you? Because with the Five of Pentacles energy, this is you feeling a lack. You could be lonely. You can be, you know, low on your funds. Okay. You're just feeling like, you know, an energy of lack. So you're ready to take action towards something that's going to produce. Okay. Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take. Okay. This is your energy, Sag, King of Wands. You want something that's going to meet you. Yeah, I want somebody that's going to be on my level. Somebody that's on my level. And you might see somebody that's on your level and you're ready to take decisive action towards it. Okay, let's see why it's offered here in the immediate future for my sages. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. It's someone from your past. Okay, this is someone from your past. All right. Yeah, you want a new beginning with. Okay, maybe because they're single. And you're like, uh, I want that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Yeah. So your advice is ego. Well, Saggy, if you want them, you're gonna have to come out your ego. Okay? Yeah, you're gonna have to let your walls down, okay? You're gonna have to release the pride. Why is ego here as the advice for my Saggies? You gonna have to go up to that person from the past and say, listen. <laughs> what you guys? Eight of Pentacles, all right? You're going to have to work at it, okay? Work on being um, brave with the full energy. Work on being um, spontaneous with the full energy. Work on being um, exciting and flirty, okay? Stepping out on faith, stepping out of your comfort zone, okay? Yeah, yeah, because you want that Ten of Cups. Look at look what's right behind the full energy. You see it, and you want it, and you know it's there. Okay, yeah, with the ego energy. Why Clarify that ego energy. It's really like you have to work on that, okay? Because if you want this person, okay, you're going to have to make it do what it do. Overcome that pride, okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the mental conflict, Ain't doing nothing but keeping you stuck. And that mental conflict with the eight of swords is all you. Okay? If you find yourself going back and forth, like, I don't know, maybe I should, I don't know, maybe I should, no. You have to work on that. Okay? If you want to actually achieve what it is you want. You want this empress energy. You want to go towards this new opportunity. Somebody from your past. Then listen. You have to come out of your head on it. Okay? Yeah, because it's not doing anything but making you stagnant, okay? Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. You're going to end up waiting around for a long, long time for that equal give and take and that new beginning if you don't come out of your ego. <laughs> That's what Spirit said. Oh, on, on the real, though. They did. So, let's get you some messages. Okay, let's see what comes through for my Sagis, first half of October. For my Sagis, first half of October. Don't lose out on that Empress energy because you're being all arrogant. <laughs> for my Sagis. Mm-hmm. 
I'm broken heart. No, <laughs> I'm heartbroken. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck says, I need more time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because you're in contemplation mode right now. Uh-huh. I'm taking action. Okay, that's that Knight of Swords energy. Bottom of the deck says, I screwed up. <laughs> See, you know what? Listen, this I screwed up card with the I'm overwhelmed card right behind that and we need to talk. That is you coming out of that ego. Okay, if you can say that and step up to this person from your past or this empress energy that you know you want to take decisive action towards, if you can step up and say, you know what, I screwed up. I was overwhelmed. I don't listen, I had a lot going on. Step up. You might get the results that you want. I'm looking to see if I'm gonna pull another message. Let's say no, that's it. That's it. So that's what I have for you, Shit. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. <laughs> Bye.